So Carmen and Corey recently did a sit down Q&A and they were asked the question, does it bother y'all when people keep bringing up the past? I always notice that people bring the past up when it comes to your relationship. Does it bother y'all? I would say my only thing on that is not that it does it, it, it bothers me because it's like social media gonna hold things for you forever. But it, the only thing that bothers me would say that for the new people that just find out about us or wanna support us, some people be killing it when they be wanna speak on the past. You know, like it can be something positive and people like liking it and they'll be like, oh, but he a cheater. Oh, but she dumb with that. Right? So now people go investigate and like, damn, what Carmen and Corey did, who did that? And then now it kind of like. Yeah, it's a norm because every time you turn around, that's the only thing people know how to talk about is our past. Like, bro, that is our past. We moved on. We doing better things. We were growing. You don't have to keep up bringing up the past. We know what we went through. Yeah, trust me, we know. We know what we did. We know what we had to, like, you know what I'm saying? And we dealt with it. Like, we literally dealt with it. We got, a, like, the consequences behind it. Karma, all. Like, we dealt with all of that. Y'all just, like, be nice. Be positive. Yeah. Now, DDG's ex, Ruby Rose, is now in a new relationship with rapper French Montana. TMZ writes, French Montana and Ruby Rose date night in Beverly Hills. New romance confirmed. Of course, people were bringing up the tweet that DDG made last month saying that she hasn't moved on because she wants him back. So some comments read, not after she was stalking Hallie over DDG and DDG somewhere throwing up. Another person says, good, now leave DDG and Hallie alone. Now Hallie was on Instagram Live and someone asked her the question, how she's doing mentally, especially since all this has been exposed. You know, we all have those days where we're low, but when I have those days, I put on some gospel. I blast gospel because whenever I feel like down, I clean my house. The first thing I do is I get up, I clean my house, I turn on all my candles and incense. I blast gospel like so loud. I open all the windows to just, you know, remove whatever feeling that of sadness or anything so that's how i kind of get through those days when i feel low but recently i've been pretty good so a few people sent me a instagram story that cj posted of lexi working out okay man let's see six place stop the tip nine one more the tip right now a few people were concerned about her being pregnant and doing exercises like that. Now I'm no pregnancy expert or anything like that. I do know it's safe to exercise during pregnancy, but I'm not sure what exercises are safe. But you guys let me know what you guys think about that down in the comment section below. Do you guys think that Lexi is really pregnant or were they just trolling? Now CJ was also on Instagram live last night and and he mentioned something about a child support lawyer for Nike. Now, it seems like Nike and CJ are cool. She's even going out to Miami to help him celebrate his birthday. But he looked a little bit defeated when he mentioned the child support lawyer. He didn't want to talk much about it. He just stated, that's another story. So a lot of people are wondering what's actually going on. Is Nike trying to get more money in child support? Or is CJ just trying to make sure all of his business is in order so he doesn't have to go through the situation that he's going through with royalty again? He said he's tired. Yes, I'm super tired. I've been up all morning since my first text message came to me at 617 this morning. I had to pay something. What was it like you had to pay? My lawyer. I had to pay my other lawyer for Nike. I had to pay my, my other child support lawyer for Nike. But that's something else, that's something else. Anyway, that was my first call. So I've been woke since I've been paying child support lawyers, man. Six in the morning, I've been up. Now it's gonna be 11 p.m. It's 2 a.m. when you live. It's almost 10 p.m. I'm super tired. My eyes are super low because I'm reading the comments. I see you in the comments talking. I'm reading the comments in the comments. Just what so happened to be at the bottom. So I mean, I mean, unless you want me to be like this, I can't really do that. The, the, brightest, the light is bright. The light bright. They want me out here with my eyes bucked. But wow. Lots of love to you too. I appreciate the love. Follow you back. Man, all right. I'm going to do a raffle. I'm going to do a, not a raffle, a uh, rock, paper, scissors challenge or something. If we win, 
I ain't got to follow you back. Rock, paper, scissors in the conversation right now. If you pick something and you beat me, mine is already picked. My hand is under the phone right now. If you beat me, I'll follow you back. Pick rock, paper, or scissors to see. <laughs> why, is, why is everybody talking about? They just so wild. <laughs> CJ, can you say what's up, little Rome? What's up, little Rome? What's up, living by Lexi? I see you lurking in the chat. Chat. Make sure you get the shoes. Paper? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I beat y'all. I forgot. I still have my hand on it, too. I beat y'all. I was going to follow y'all, too. Oh, yeah. The same was rock. It's too late. It's too late. I ain't switching. You on my mama. You lying. I don't like liars. I don't like liars. Look how mad I just got. It was not a good joke because you just said I switched it. Now they're going to be like, I knew I could believe in. Yes, I'm mad. I had scissors up. I'm not following you back. Flower me back. What's that? I am not high. I don't understand what you're saying, my guy. I don't get high. Okay? We don't do that. We don't do the high high dance over here. Okay? We do the I'm up all day tired. I worked out today. I don't care. Let me tell y'all something. I got shot. I know y'all tired of me saying it. I don't even like to say it. I got shot in both of my legs and I still worked out today. Okay? I've been up since 6 in the morning. And yesterday, I went to sleep really late. So I'm really tired. I'm running on fumes right now. And on top of all of that, I've been dealing with the fact that my shoe sale ends tonight in one hour and two minutes. You know how stressful that is? Because for something, something in me wants to keep it open. But I can't because how are we going to start the orders? We have to get these orders sent out and made and paid for, all that good stuff, right? That being said, we can't keep it open because y'all going to keep buying them, which y'all are doing, which I'm grateful for. Very thankful that you guys are buying the shoes. Um, but if you guys continue to buy them after today, for instance, see if we kept it open, then how are we going to start? We can't. So we got to stop it. So today is the last day. You guys got one hour and two minutes left. That's crazy. History in the making, man. I'm only live because of this. Y'all know me. I don't go live. It's not that I don't like y'all. I just don't go live because live is a lot. You know? Live is a lot. You can't delete live. You can't edit live. Some things may go wrong during the live that you can't take back. So I don't really like going live because live is very dangerous. Basically what I'm trying to say, so... That being said, people text you when you lie. They call you when you lie. Who texting me? Oh, that was Lexi phone, actually. Who you texting, Lexi? Rachel, about tomorrow. Oh, okay. 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 Finna say, because you can show your whole text thread to the chat if you want to. It's kind of private. It's not private. Nah. What are doing? Oh, what we're doing? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's private. What are you so Listen. How come your face low-key looks swollen? Boy, I know you lying. I know you lying. I got my teeth pulled out. Ah. <laughs> but my face is not swollen. I'm not reaping no, no repercussions from getting my teeth pulled out. My cheekbones. Ah. I'm so tired, man. That's why y'all... That's why they talking like that.